Who's got the fire way? Got the fire for me. Who's got the fire? Fire, fire, fire. Yo, you don't know the original drum rock 876. You don't know so we are running things and we're not stop giving you the good things in. Respect to all the people who check on this side in. Blessed love. Alright, so tonight we're here with Omar Perry. So um, how was the show tonight? How well, the show was, was, was really amazing, you know. At first, the people was a little bit standoffish at the beginning, but after the first song, everybody was jumping. Uh, I'm telling you, man, it was, it was very nice. Right. I really enjoyed myself today. Well, at this moment, uh, last year, I just, you know, this is my album I released in the two, the last year. And, um, 2018. 2018, yes. No, 2019. Okay. No, no, no. So, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, my mistake. 2020. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but there, there was another album that was released last year. Okay. Uh, the album was um, Living in the Jungle. Yeah, it's it, it's it's a virgin that he, uh, is from the UK, and um, he linked me and told me that he have some rhythms, and I'm like, okay, then. Uh, he sent me one rhythm that it was um, it was with a girl named Vida Sunshine, and that was the first that that's really the first connection I, I made with him. He wanted me to do, do a feature with the girl, and then after I did like maybe two more shots for him, he told me say you know what, he's gonna he's gonna make a a, a, a vinyl of four 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 one side four vocals and four dubs. Mm -hmm. I think it's five 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 yeah something like that. But for me, it's 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 definitely for me a special a special vibe because the 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 music and the rhythm that he that he created it was very unique. It's more it's like dub, but in a in a in a, in a more jungle style. Not jungle music, no, but it, it makes you feel like in the jungle because it's just total rootical. And I think I think he's gonna put out. Um, a series that's maybe by tomorrow or something. I think I don't know if it released now. I, I, I think it released. It was released today. Yeah, it's with um like with Cedric Might and and, and and some other people. Which is it, it's it's was it's, it's good, you know. So check it out. It's positive. Um, Bust is a musician as well. He he he, he blows saxophone and sometimes he, he he works on in my band. I used to mm -hmm. work with him. And before he had a friend named um, Bim, he was also in, in, in my group, which was the homegrown band. Mm -hmm. So I, I knew them through this, you know, they were really for me sometimes. So they are really good friends of mine, you know. So this is how I really met them. Okay. Well, I think for me, um, I see myself as being a reggae. Ambassador, which I, 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 my work is, 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 is spreading the message in a different channel. So there is some tracks I'm working with with some other people from Jamaica, but the, these music they're not really finished and they're not ready. So in time you will hear about some stuff I am working with with some Jamaican artists. Yeah, that 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 was you know it's like. Most of the time, it's like I just met people just like that, and it's like somehow the the, the, the vibes. Cause I, I like working from vibrations, and if I meet you, or even sometimes you call me on the phone, and once I feel a positive vibration coming through the way you talk and, and the, the vibe that you're giving me, it's it's easy for me and you to work. And the taboo one was a. Uh, Virgin named Guillaume, who lives in Paris as well, and I met him at a, a, a concert where he was uh, doing a celebration for, for Bim, because he passed away, and I, this is where I met him. And then by the time we, 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 we take two talk, and it's like, he must say, yeah, I, I do this, I have some beat and stuff, oh, I work with Sly and Robbie, I said, what? Yeah. So then he, this is how, the, the, this, this is the link. From, from him to me, to, to this, this is what really linked us together. Yeah. 
So this is how we end up doing a, a, a mini album. Okay, and my message for him as well is, you know, give thanks for this opportunity because uh, I think it was a very positive, you know, connection that we make because, you know, Sly and Robbie is a, is a, is a, is a big, I mean, one of the biggest names yes. of uh, beat makers coming from Jamaica. So, yeah, I give thanks. Yes, uh, that, that was, I mean, when you're young, you know, a lot of things catches you. And for me, I think that the, my brother was playing keyboard and, and I had a, a little really small sister who was singing as well. So it was more likely that I'm, I'm, I must be the, the, the heartbeat because, you know, the drum, the heartbeat is the, the, the one that keeps the thing going. So I think for sure, and, and this is what you know, ground me towards music is is the beat, is African beat, you know, reggae beat, ska beat. Nothing. There was nothing in. in I mean, it, it's just like as a youth, you know, you just you just playing around. Mm. You know, I really didn't take it serious until recently. Um, I, I bought myself some drums. I mean, I'm like, ah, I, I knew I used to to do this. Yeah. <laughs> and I, and I'm, I'm surprised, I'm surprised myself, I'm like, I can't believe I still, I still have that vibration of, 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 of playing the drums, so, yeah. Uh, I was, there was a little studio in, in my neighborhood and, you know, I wanted to do some songs and uh, at, the t at the time, uh, the, the owner of the studio, he didn't have any engineer to work with, so he said the, the only way to make things go more faster, I have to be more involved, hands-on in, in, in whatever is, is happening. And this is how I end up, start to like being an engineer because, I mean, in, in life, every, every, everything, experience is, you know, sometimes you, you, you don't know where the chance is, is, gonna, is gonna take you. So you just have to be open to, to, to what comes along. You know, just by the same thing for the drums. You know, so every part, every, every way that you go through, it is a print of your life for what to come, but you don't know what to come, you just know this is what you have to do at that time. Right. You understand? So, with the, with the, by being the engineer you now, it, it, it was from my ears to, 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 to have a clear ear to know what's good and what's not good what song is too much and what song is too low. Mm. So I think this, this is, was a building block in, 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 in my life, yes. I do, I do, I do, because they, I, I, I like, you know, if they're gonna mix an album for me, I would like them to send me what they do. They, I, don't, I don't want nobody to mix anything behind my back and then after you finish it they're gonna tell me it's finished now and I would like to hear it first and if it because I'm gonna say this is too high, that is too low, why is that is there, that don't make no sense, or uh, the mix is a bit off or something. So it I am very much judgmental in, in my production. So it, it has to be perfect. If not perfect very much close to me. <laughs> yeah, because we, we really, when I started with my friend, my friend in, in, in my neighborhood, it, it was a four track. Mm. And then at the, at the time, I, I, I went to Bars Gardner's house, he had a little studio in his back as well, and it was an eight track studio. And, and in, in, I don't know, when I was whew, about 17, 18, because Family Man from, from the Willis is he, one of those you know, friends of my father. He you know, used to pass through, even though nothing was happening at, at, at the studio, because I live in the, same, in the same house. The studio was in the back. You know, the fire it burned down, and the story come forward. So, Family Man was one of those persons always coming to check us and see 
everything is okay. And one day he came there and he said, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to Junior Reed. You want to come? And I said, oh, okay, no problem. And this is how I, I met Junior Reed. And then, then Junior Reed said to, um, family man said to Junior Reed, yeah, this is Scratch Sunday. And I was like, what? He said, what? I, I, you, you have to come and work for me. You know what you do? And he's like, yeah, he never stopped until he, he really convinced me to, 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 to come and, and, and work for him. And I, I was there in, in his One Blood studio. And that was like for me a step up because he was working in a 16 track studio. So now it is like, you know, I start from this mixing board to this mixing board to like this mixing board. So I mean, you know, it was, it was a, a big experience for me. And while I was there, I, I worked with a, with a few artists. At, at the time, Jamison wasn't so popular, but I, I, I used to voice some tracks for Jamison. Uh, Tyrone Taylor, uh, Big Youth, uh, Terry Gianzi, I mean, just to name a few, you know. That was, that was, oh, that was, that was a, 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 a part of my life. As I tell you that everything is just a, a, drone, a journey and a stepping stone. And I was, I used to live in Africa, in, in, in Gambia, for a few years. And then I start to to do some DJing, and it was really successful. And I I brought this kind of style to when I came to Europe, where I just play, then I do the flip side the version, and I just perform. Like uh, Abashanti. Yeah, I used to I used to love that, love that, love that. But it's many oh, it's many years now I haven't done I haven't done anything like that. Yeah, because what, what really happened that, I mean, it, it had to come to this because, you know, people with technology and, 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 and music, they are always trying to improve on it. So, okay, we know that the original kind of mixing, you know, analog mixing board, and it's much, much more personal. But when you work with the digital stuff, sometimes it's, a little bit perfect. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with being perfect, but sometimes every little bit of piece, you know, you cannot only do one, you have to do everything because music evolves. So there is nothing we can do about the, you know, people want to make it as, as clean, clear cut production, fat, you know, solid. I mean, it's, yeah, it's like that. It, it just depends because I mean one time the, in back in the days the, it, it was more important for the rhythm it was more all about the beat the rhythm was 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 the main important thing but through the years it becomes more like the artist people the, the more listening to the artist is more that, the more about what the artist is saying it's about the topic you know because most of the time everything is a topic of what society has to face, or what is happening to them, or what sometimes what you say is to come. Sometimes you don't know what you're saying, but you're putting out a message of, of what to come. Okay, the, the, the thing about that I probably would say is that before you, you had, at that, that time, you have a, a certain kind of producers. They, they, they are on one side, which is if they're being on the positive or the conscious side, that's where they stay. And the, the, the producers that do a lot of slackness and stuff. Every, sometimes everybody do a little bit of slackness and a little bit of consciousness, but you have some producers, they just stick to being just strictly slackness and guns and killing and all the bad things. But now things are changing. They're, they're, they're every, everybody's more looking to make a fast money. So everything is about what is the hype, what, what, what is the thing, what is the, the talk, what is the word. But I mean, you still, you still, have, you still have these kind of people. I'm, I'm, I'm positively sure you have still positive producers producing only conscious stuff. Uh, artists who is singing only positiveness and consciousness. Like chronic. Yes, so you, 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 it might not be as much as how it was back 
piano. But there's still a lot still you know, doing, playing their part. It's... It, it all depends on, on, on who is doing it. Because be, being a Rasta, it's, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a way of life. I mean, some people just wear it, just the Rasta on their heads and that's it. They, 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 there's nothing else behind that. But I, I don't know what for some other people, but for me, I, 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 I take it very seriously and it's a part of, of my life and whatever I do, I portray it myself like this. And the thing of us as, as, of, as being a, as an artist and a singer, like for me, when I'm on stage, I'm on stage. But when I'm off stage, I'm just a person speaking the same way as my music, still being positive, trying to, to share the message and, 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 and you know, trying to be a good example. For me, I think it's 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 the journey which you know from my from my youth from my youth growing up because the, these these are the things that I grew and see you know people you know giving praises unto the most guy and trying to be more natural you know to 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 to, to oneself the, the the way how you eat the the way you speak. The, the things you you, 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 you you think about you understand and as well as the the the, the, the words that you you, you, you write to, to, to in the sound so for me I just think maybe you know, it's, a, it's, it's 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 from I was a kid and it's, it's the, what was just there well I'm not gonna say like I know like the totally of what's going on in Jamaica but uh, as far as I know it's 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 like how it I wouldn't say it was like how it was before, but the, the evolution of of, 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 of of the music it 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 it, it, it kind of changes in a way, and I think some producers probably take a little bit of disadvantage of of what they think the people more going forward to where, where you have like really deep dark lyrics really dark down there and people you know singing about demons and it, I mean it's like way out there you, know, you have to say you know that's really really some crazy crap going on there and the girls them right now you know it's 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 all about sex and, I mean it's really so I think some producers out there are kind of taking a little bit of advantage of, 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 of what they think is the big thing. So it's kind of drown out the good things. But the good things are still there because, I mean, as you say, Chronix, Sizzler, Cape I mean, you really kind of drown out these guys. Because these guys are, are one of the top of top ones. And so as long as somebody up there is keeping the positiveness going on, you will still have a few kids or a few youngsters or some some new artists coming up and they will just be just just wanna be like Capers and they wanna be like you know Chronix, they wanna be like Bob Marley, they wanna be like so you, you will have you know people still coming to do this. I don't really think it's gonna change. Sometimes the good positive is up, sometimes the slap is up, so it just depends on Uh, I, I, I follow the news sometimes, but you know, I'm not gonna say like, okay, I'm really, really tuning in to know what's going on down there constantly. Because at the same time, I have my own music that I'm working on. I have my family that I have to deal with, my kids, then they have to go to school, they're like growing up, giving a lot of trouble. <laughs> but I mean, for me, my kids, them are, you know, the most important things for me, you know. So it's like I'm, I'm there for them, and I want to be there for them, and I want to, you know, to show them the, the way, show them the positiveness, you know, because right now Earth is running very dread, and it's very, very easy to be influenced. It's very, very easy to be captured. It's very, very easy to be kidnapped. <laughs> so you just have to be careful and.
and we tried to keep them on the right track. Across the board, Ada Tune is, is a song for people who really don't know how to sing. But so when you sing badly, it puts it correct. It's because it's the new, the new, the newer kind of artist that come. Because it's not really the old time. It's not the, the old artists that are doing these things. It's more like the new artists come. And once you start to sing on this thing, you can't stop now. Because if you sing for real, then they're gonna know that you can't sing. <laughs> but I mean, to tell you the truth, I really don't really have too much of a problem with the attitude because sometimes it's it's it have a, if you put it sometime on a slightly on on, 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 on on some songs where it's not so obvious that it's there but it just leave like in the middle or in the bottom or bottom. I'm okay with that. Like on a chorus it's okay like a T O B. Yes, yeah for me it's yes tuned, like but, it's alright. But if it's too much like you like every time the, the, the person is singing and it's like attitude, attitude it's like well that part is a little bit like oh, Uh, I have uh, a few shows back in, in France, uh, I have a, a concert as well in Portugal, uh, I have a, uh, yeah, in about maybe March, I think I'll be probably taking uh, a concert in Africa as well. So, you know, it's, I'm okay. Ah, no. French is a very difficult, uh, but, okay, I do speak a little bit and I do understand uh, a lot more than I speak, but it's like every time when I speak it, uh, some people are going to laugh at me and then it's like, oh, no, it's not, it's too, I don't want to be the funny guy, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you for your time. It's a pleasure, and I say, listen. You gotta be positive in every way. You've got to look deep down in yourself and know that if you want goodness to come to you, you have to put forward goodness. If you want love to come to you, you have to put forward love. You understand? So you got to be positive, loving at the heart, loving at the mind, and think about helping mankind. Do your best. Do what you can. Rastafari, I bless.